Peace of Christ to all. Um, as you see in the screen, as usual, we have something new to teach you about Quran. The verse in chapter 4, verse 82, it's saying it clearly and telling us that in the time of Muhammad, people they have a lot of trouble understanding the Quran because it's very clear they are finding a contradiction. And the verse in here is saying, Do they not consider the Quran? with care had it been from other than Allah they would surely have found therein much contradiction whatever they translate the word as <coughs> so people we are complaining about like what kind of Quran this Quran like you know is, uh, because uh, uh, one verse saying something the other verse saying the opposite it's, it's really you know a very confusing book so this case was even from the time of Muhammad it's not like today we are the one who discover how, how, how stupid the Quran is no, you know the Arab people in the time of Muhammad they were not really fooled you know they knew it's uh, you know Muhammad the only way for him to make them believe in it it was his sword when he got enough men from the outlaw he forced everybody to convert to his religion and all of us we knew you can go and uh, uh, search for something it's called the war of apostasy we, call it, we say in Arabic Harubu Ridda Harubu Ridda simply or the war of apostasy right away in the same day Muhammad died tens of thousands of Arab they left Islam in the same day this is, this is telling you how much they were forced to do so because if they believe really why they want to believe in the same day of Muhammad's death then Abu Bakr he had to launch a huge war to force those people and torture the one who don't want to come back to Islam <coughs> so the men of Muhammad who continues his message after him they launch a war to make Islam stabilize and stay this is how Islam stay until now actually by war by sword anyone will say something different this is a lie and the proof in the year 2008 finally one Islamic country approved someone to change his religion without being killed so the rule of being killed for leaving Islam it is from the beginning and it is always the way to keep Islam staying and alive otherwise Islam is a bleeding and there is no way to stop that bleeding except you know what scare those who want to leave Islam but these days things is changing and people they cannot take it no more this is why Islam is dying very fast now we show the verse from the Quran <coughs> saying that you know what if this is not from God we will consider the word Allah in here as if it's saying it's from God no problem if it is not from God you will find a lot of contradiction and I have more than 300 videos each one of them showing you at least one contradiction at least now let us show one more contradiction for today Surah 6 verse 50 <coughs> Muhammad saying to people I tell you not that with me is the treasure of Allah nor do I know what is hiding nor I tell you I am an angel but follow that what is revealed to me say can the blind behold equal to the seen will you consider not okay so Muhammad saying to us listen to this people asking him okay you know tell us the future what about you tell us something we don't know you are claiming to be a prophet right what kind of a prophet you are the one who cannot tell us anything like prophet it's mean you give a prophecy you prophesy right okay this is a prophet who don't prophesy is it weird <laughs> so he answered them saying you know what yeah you know yeah I don't know I have no idea I, I do not have the treasure of Allah now if you go to the explanation and look at the treasure of Allah you will see something funny I will post all those links next to my video so you guys you can read them it says say O Muhammad the people of Mecca I say not unto you I possess the keys of the treasure of Allah Vegetation, vegetations, fruit, rain, or punishment. This is the this is the the treasure of Allah. Vegetation, fruits. The the treasure of Allah is some zucchini and some coca cumber and some tomato. So Muhammad he have no idea what those are. The treasure of Allah, what it is, what is hiding. So he's saying to them, and you know what? I'm not an angel. So to know the treasure of Allah you have to be either God 
or the angel. Now, to know the treasure of Allah, it doesn't mean the angel himself, he knew really what God knows. The angel still, he is the one who do the delivery. Remember, like, you know, Jibreel, he was delivering the Quran to Muhammad, but he is not the one who knew the Quran. He was like uh, the postman. In the same time, if we go and see different verse, we will see the following. Chapter 3, verse 49, you will see, this is the, talking about supposedly the Messiah, it's saying that the Messiah, he is the one who can make from a clay a bird, and he breathed onto that clay and will became a bird, <coughs> and uh, uh, he make the blind see, and he do a lot of recovery for everyone. In the top of that, there is something important here. And I declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses as a miracle. Now, Muhammad said, he cannot tell you what you eat and what you store in your houses. The Messiah, he can tell you what you eat and what you store in your houses. Did you find something wrong in there? The Muslim says that Muhammad is the best prophet of God. And he is the seal of the prophet and he is the most honorable prophet of Allah himself. He chose him as the best. He is the best of the best. At the same time, Muhammad, he had no prophecy. He never prophesied. He do not know what is hiding. He cannot tell you what is your, in, your, in your house. He cannot tell you anything about the future. But the Messiah, he can create bird from mud, the same as God do. He can make the blind see. He can give recovery for all kinds of diseases. In the top of that, he can tell you what is hiding in your house, what do you eat, and what you are planning to do. All of this did not make the Messiah equal to Muhammad, this is number one, which is a stupid thing to say. Because simply in Islam, Muhammad, all what he did, he just delivered the Quran. He did not do any miracle, he did not do nothing. He just delivered the Quran according to Islam. But in here we see that the Messiah was given the, the, the authority, according to the Quran by the way, I'm not saying uh, according to me, according to the Quran, he was given the authority of a creation. He can do exactly what the God of Islam he can do. He can create from the clay something alive. And he do create the same way as God create according to Islam. This is the way uh, the God of Islam created Adam. He made him first from mud, and he breathed unto him, and then he created him. And look at, at this. The Messiah, he do exactly the same. Now, we will go to the real contradiction. As long as the Messiah, he knew the future, and he can tell you what is your hiding. And Muhammad said clearly, no one know that except Allah. And to, just to show you one more evident, we will go there. Chapter 6, verse number 59. With him are the keys of unseen. With him who? Allah. He is the one he knew what is hiding. And no one know it except him. So only the God of Islam, he knew the unseen. So if only Allah knew the unseen okay how how the messiah he knew the seen the unseen too you see it what do you eat is not what he see what do you hide in your house is it's not what he see this is unseen now someone will tell me uh, you know what but Allah he told him don't tell me that Allah is telling, telling him everyone what is he hiding in his house this will be funny. There's thousands and thousands of people that, you know what, he, Allah, He sent him a file saying, you know what, this is a file for every citizen in, your, in, in this town. Anyone come to you, open the file and look. You will see what kind of clothes he's wearing, what he did yesterday, what he did eat, and what he is, what he is hiding. 
knowing it means he knew right away regardless of the person he will come to him like as a surprise if somebody stand in front of him and say to him what I have in my house he will tell him Muhammad he do not know that and the Quran say clearly that the only one he knew that it is Allah time is up follow with me the Messiah is God and he can tell you the unseen when your Quran say no one can tell except God Christ is God Islam is false I mean